depending on the substrate, we can seal it off with a moisture mitigation system, uh, certain primers over wood. Sometimes it's as easy as laying out some aqua bar or tar paper or six mil plastic. Uh, if it becomes too much of an issue or there's a uh, budget constraint, we will sometimes have to consider alternative products that are able to withstand moisture more than what they initially wanted. Most of the uh, moisture problems we run into are over uh, older concrete where there has been uh, no testing, no mitigation. The uh, building practices were such when the, place, when the slab was poured that they don't have the proper moisture barriers to keep intrusion. Or there's a, um, a disaster of sort of plumbing failure, uh, drainage failure, sprinklers, outside uh, issues that are finding their way under the floor. First thing we try to figure out is where the moisture is coming from and what needs to happen to stop it. Once we discover that, we can start putting together a plan to uh, fix the damage that's been caused by the uh, excessive moisture. Some of the worst failures we've seen are due to moisture issues in concrete. They tend to uh, grow over time and the typical response is to make repairs and throw money at it for a couple of years until it gets to the point that it cannot be salvaged and the end result is still the same. Full replacement, full mitigation, and doing it right the second time around. The biggest thing that I believe we need to consider when I'm talking about moisture and stuff like this is the fact that when our homeowners especially, when they contact us and they're looking for a floor for their home, they're dreaming. They have a look or a product in mind. They don't understand all the stuff that can go wrong. They don't understand all the things that need to go right to have a successful installation that will last. And as contractors, we need to educate them and we need to stick to what we know is the right thing to do because this is a long-term investment. So we can't let short-term thinking dictate how that's done. 